Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Tuesday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every test? in every storm, in every decision making, he says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come, neither dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you richly and sincerely from my heart. This very Tuesday afternoon, I release that very special blessing upon your life. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today every spirit of witchcraft all their demonic forces evil blights generational curses where the first second third <coughs> or fourth generational curse I break I destroy, I reverse in Jesus' name. I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every fetter, I break every evil, I break every work of darkness. For whom the sun set free is free indeed. You are free this morning in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Isn't that awesome today? My friends, hallelujah. Jesus said in his words, Healing is the children's bread, and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes and heal, you are healed, you are healed, we are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand to you. Hallelujah. Praise God, Father God, this afternoon. I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Burn out every sickness. Burn out every pain. Burn out every disease. Burn out every infirmities. Burn out every evil and every work of darkness. Heal my body from every virus and sickness and germs and disease and infirmities and evil from this mortal man of clay. I pray God today as I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, <clears throat> many will be saved, many will be blessed. Many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. For not me that liveth, but Christ that lives inside of me. For me to live is Christ, and Christ to die is gain. The blood of Jesus is applied lavishly this morning as I minister in Jesus' name. May I may not know what you are or what your or what your exact situation is. Yes, my friends, I may not know that today, but I want to let you know. Your exact situation is, but one thing I do know this morning is that the Bible in Hebrews 
Then Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 to 2 tells says, it clearly tells us, let us seize and hold tightly, tightly the confession of our hope without wavering, wavering for he who promised is reliable today and trustworthy and faithful to his word hallelujah and let us consider thoughtfully today how we may encourage one another encourage one another to love to do good deeds to do good deeds and not forsaking or meeting together as believers for worship and instruction as in the habit for some but encouraging one another yes encouraging one and all the more faithfully my friends as you see the day of Christ returns yes my friends approaching the Bible tells us to encourage one another encourage one another that what I would like to do today is to encourage you whatever it is you're going through today my friends leave Leave it in the hands of God. Leave it in the hands of God as the final say over your life. And you need to hold on, hold on. Don't give up. Don't let go. Don't let go, my friends. Don't give up. And you don't be discouraged today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will block you from looking to the left and, and to the right so that your eyes can only look to Jesus. Jesus Christ, Romans chapter 8 verse 37 tells us, it says clearly, let in all these things, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Hallelujah. You are more than a conqueror today through Jesus Christ yes so keep believing keep believing that God will see you through keep believing that God will strengthen you today yes my friends don't be discouraged yes don't be defeated today but stand 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 on God's word and on God's promises hallelujah because he has said in his words I will never leave you no forsake you hallelujah you my friends you see people of God today there are times when we simply need to remind ourselves about the promises that are found in the word of God God is now it will like to I would like to share some of the promises in God's words that I found to be encouraged yes my friends hallelujah in Psalms in Psalm 34 verse 6, this poor man cried, and the Lord, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says the Lord, the Lord has saved him. The Lord saved him out of all his trouble. Yes, my friends, I want you to know the Lord hears and answer prayers. He can hear your cries. He can hear what's in your heart. He can hear your voice. Yes, when you are distressed. Yes, my friends, God still hears and answers prayers today. Don't allow the enemy to whisper lies to you, my friends, and tell you God is too busy for you. Our God neither sleeps nor slumbers yes my friends and he will hear your prayers according to his word hallelujah word of amplified translation for proverbs chapter 3 clearly tells us five to six says trust in trust in and rely confidently on the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own insights yes and rely not on your own sights or understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and recognize him and he will make your path straight straight and smooth and smooth removing every obstacles that block your way yes I want you to trust that God the Lord will guide you he will guide you and especially today I want you to speak to the person who has a calling on their life today you may not see how God can use you 
my friends, you may be thinking there is no way forward, forward for me. Yes, I want to tell you that God has promised to make your path straight. Straight, my friends, smooth, smooth. He will move all the obstacles that blocking, that block your path. Yes, my friends, saints, beloved in Christ, trust and believe that God will make a way for you and your family today, for your marriage, for your health. Yes, God will, God will make a way, my friends. He will make a way. He will make a way for you. Now, Psalms 9 verse 9 tells us, it says, Hallelujah, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressor. Yes, a refuge in times in times of trouble, a refuge can be defined as shelter, as shelter today, as protection from danger or distress. In other words, God has promised to be your, your shelter. He has promised to be your shelter. And when all hell breaks loose in this world, God will be your shelter when there is widespread chaos and fear in this world. Remember, God will be your shelter when the enemy comes in like a flood. Yes, like a flood, the enemy comes in. The Spirit of God will lift up. He will lift up a standard against him. God will shelter you. He will shelter you. Now let's let's pray this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, let's pray. Thank you for the wonderful promises in your word today, O oh, Father. You are a God who hears, you're a God who hears and answers prayers. Oh Father, you are a God who is a refuge for the oppressor. Today you are a refuge in times of trouble, oh Father. A refuge when there is danger, when there is danger, oh Lord. And you, you Lord, are compassionate and are a God who offers unspeakable joy and peace beyond 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 understanding you're a god who never never fails you are mighty in battle mighty in battle with all your whole heart we safely trust we trust in you father today we thank you today for your love your love lord jesus hallelujah i pray for each and every person this afternoon under the song of my voice Lord, may they come to the realization that they are loved. They are loved by Jesus Christ. Yes, may they come to the understanding today that nothing can separate us from your love, O oh, Father, according to Romans, according to Romans 8, 35 to 39, for your word, your word says, who shall separate us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall trouble the hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword, yes, as it is written, it is written for your sake. Hallelujah. We face death. We face death all day long. Hallelujah. We, we are considered as a sheep, a sheep to be slaughtered. Oh, Father, no, no, in all these things. We are more than conquerors, conquerors through him that love us. Hallelujah. I am convinced this day that neither death nor life nor angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us O oh father from the love of you that is in jesus christ our our lord our lord words fail me sometimes as i try to express my joy and great and gratitude at your your love at your love at this life lord jesus our loved ones may betray us 
our loved ones may let us down yes they may even forsake us and leave us however we thank you because because we can rely rely on you lord we can count on you to be there for us during the toughest season of life we can count on you to be our chief cornerstone we can count on you to block the fiery darts heart shown that shown by the enemy it's only you jesus who can keep us keep us truly safe and secure you alone O oh father can preserve our lives yes our health our peace of mind even even today only my lord my defender can destroy every plan that the devil has oh father you lord jesus king jesus can expose the traps set before us so i place i place my faith in you i place my trust in you i place my confidence in you i know that if i if we abide in you they dwell you dwell in our house yes and then your presence will cover us will cover us from head from head to toe from head to toe oh god and if god be for me who can stand against me hallelujah praise god we build we build our faith lord so that we may be strong today believers one who is bold and courageous one who walks in authority yes of a child of god yes my friends your your word in second corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 clearly tells us it says bless bless gratefully praise and adore and adore be the god and father of all lord of our lord jesus christ and father of mercies and the god of all comfort who comforts and encourage encourages us in every trouble so that we we will be able to stand and to comfort and encourage those who are in any kind of trouble yes with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted today by by Jesus by God we look to you we look to you father for encouragement this day we look to you father for comfort today we trust and rely we rely on you the God who hears our cries is the God who answers the petition of our hearts today the God who listens to our voices when we are in distress the promises in your word your promises in your word strengthen us and offer us hope today lord jesus i thank you i thank you for promising promising never to leave us nor forsake us the father as your children this morning i thank you for promise to be my my refuge oh father i thank you for hearing my prayer this day in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise god thank you jesus i pray hallelujah god i pray pray this morning for health and strength health and strength health and strength this morning oh father hallelujah let us seize let us seize hold tightly the confession of our hope today without wavering beloved for he who promised is reliable today and trustworthy and faithful uh, to his word yes and let us consider thoughtfully today how we may encourage uh, encourage one another to love uh, and to do good uh, yes and good deeds do good deeds uh, not forsaking or meeting together as believers uh, for worship and instruction as in the habit uh, for some 
but encouraging one another, encouraging one another, are all the bow faithfully as you see the day of Christ's return. His return is very soon. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Very soon his return is approaching. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. What trouble are you in today, my friends? Call upon him troubles yet yet in all these things what he says we are more than conquerors conquerors to him who love us he love us today my friends trust trust and rely confidently on the lord with all your heart with all your heart rely on the on, on rely not on your own insight or understanding in all your ways know and acknowledge and recognize him and he will make your path straight hallelujah and smooth removing obstacles that block that block your way yes my friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus today i'm not going to pray yeah i'll pray for you i pray already but i'm going to pray individually for you in the next session god bless you richly it has been a great joy and privilege to be here this tuesday afternoon to minister the word of god god bless you richly may the healing virtue flow from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet may god scan you and set you free in jesus mighty name be heal be heal be set free body soul and spirit in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen and amen thank you 